In this video, you will learn different examples to explain further how to cut any shape in Inkscape. We will use the same method that we have used in the previous video. If you haven't watched it, its link is in the description. We recommend taking a look at it to understand this video easily. Okay, let's first discuss cutting shapes using other shapes. We have made these examples for your better understanding. The shapes in blue will be used to cut the pink shape in each example. I have lowered the opacity of each blue shape to make it clear what part is expected to be cut after applying division. Let's start with this example. In this, we will cut a shape with another shape. In this case, this part will be cut after applying division. So to do that, select both shapes and apply division with Ctrl slash. As you can see, the shape is cut as expected. In the next example, we will use two shapes for cutting. In this, the circle will be cut into three parts, this one, this, and this. First, select both blue shapes and apply combine using shortcut key Ctrl K. Now select both and apply division. You can see it is divided into three parts. The next example is similar to this one, but here we will explain the scenario of a shape overlapping a shape or inside a shape. If it is overlapping like this one, then the result will be like this. I want to mention one important point here. When we apply division to cut this circle with this star, let me undo it to explain. It will cut the circle from where the star was placed, but after division, it will remove the star part that was outside the circle. The division uses it only for a cut, just like a knife. You can say that its only concern is how the pizza will be cut, not where the knife goes after it. The last example is for shape inside shape. In that case, when division is applied, the star will be cut out from the circle. Like this. Let's discuss some examples of cutting shapes using paths. A straight line path passing all through the circle will cut this circle into two parts with a straight cut, like this. If the path is curved, then it will cut in the same curve, like this. If you have multiple paths, then first combine them with Ctrl K. Then applying division will cut the shape as per the path, like from here cut will be straight, and here it will be curved. The number of parts this will divide will be 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, like this. This example is important to understand. If you make an open path, like this, and it is not passing through the shape, rather it is inside it then it will not cut the shape. The reason is that it is not giving you any piece of that shape. Take a pizza as an example. If you make this cut, you won't get a slice of pizza, so it's not worth it. Division or cutting shape purpose is to get a part or piece of any shape. So to cut it, either it is a closed path like this, or a path passing all through the shape, like this. If I apply division on this, it will result like this. The last example is a combination of open and closed paths. In this, this, and this will cut the shape, but this will not as it is not passing through the shape. To see the result, first, combine these with Ctrl K. Now apply division. As you can see, these two cuts are made, but the third cut does not affect the shape. In these examples, we will see how to cut a shape perfectly into two equal parts. We can do this in multiple ways. Let's start by using snapping. Enable the snapping from here if it is disabled, and make sure that all nodes checkboxes are checked. Now with the pencil tool, when you hover over the square edges, it snaps to the middle of the edge with a cross mark. To cut this square vertically in two equal parts, make a line from this point to this point with the help of snapping. If you don't know how the pencil tool works, refer to its tutorial, its link is in the description. Now, apply the division operation and you will get the perfect square cut from the center. You can check the width of each piece here, it is the same for both. Similarly, you can cut the square horizontally and diagonally. 
Another way to cut is by using a line. Let's disable snapping for this. Now, make a straight vertical line over the circle with a pencil tool by holding control. Now, to make it in the center of the circle, we will use the Align and Distribute tab. You can open it by using this icon. It will open this tab here. Make sure that the selection area is selected here. Now, select both the circle and line and align it in the center horizontally and vertically by using these two options. This will align the line in the center of the shape and now the division operation will cut it into equal parts. Like this. Similarly, you can draw a horizontal line and align it using these options here. For cutting diagonally, there are two ways other than snapping. First, is to make either horizontal or vertical lines, like this. Align it in the center. Then, rotate it at your desired angle. When happy with the angle, apply the division operation. If you want an exact angle value, let's say at 50 degrees, then we will use the Transform tab. For this, go to the Object tab, and select the Transform tab. It will open this tab here. Here, go to Rotate, type the angle 50 here, and click Apply. There you go, you have got your desired angle, and now you can apply division operation. You can use the discussed methods on any shape, like this. Lastly, we will discuss how the calligraphy tool works with division. The calligraphy tool is also a freehand tool like a pencil tool, but it creates a filled path, like this. So, if you apply the division on both, the result cut will be like this. We try to explain different examples and scenarios that can be used to cut any shape. If you still have any queries, write us in the comments section or contact us on our website or social media.